Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I am back. So today's reading is going to be a quick one. We're just going to have two options. Um, and it is going to be basically where is this connection heading right now? Um, so our first option, we've got Aventurine and the, oops, the card is round and round. I love this card. I think it's really pretty. Um, and it's number 25. Um, and for option two, we've got Citrine and the card is Come to the Edge. And that is number 36. Okay. So, um, while you are making your choice, um, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. This is one of those types of readings that I like to just do, um, an update on every once in a while, you know, like, um, kind of like how are they feeling, uh, where's the connection headed, what's going on, all of that kind of stuff. So, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with number one, shall we? Let's put it up here. All right, group one. Okay, let's see. Where is this connection going? We have Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon in Pisces. All right. Let's see. We have You Deserve Love. Interesting. And we have New Love. Oh. We've got Flirt. Hmm. And let's see, which tarot deck do I want to use today? Um, if you can't tell, I'm totally winging this reading. Um, let's see, how about this one? Okay, we've got Nine of Swords. We've got Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, guys. So, um, okay. And on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. So, um, what I'm getting here is that, um, whoever this person is that you're thinking about, um, I think that you are feeling, or you have felt, like, it's been going nowhere. Like you've just kind of been going around in circles and not making any progress with this person in any way. I think a lot of you guys have been meditating about this. You've been uh, praying, um, trying to manifest, things like that. You've been doing a lot of thinking about this connection. Like, is it worth my time? Is it worth my energy? Like, I really care about this person and I want, you know, I want them to be a bigger part of my life, but I feel like nothing's happening. And so I think a lot of you guys have just sort of, you've kind of reached a point where you have decided to sort of withdraw and not continue to put too much effort into it. And I think a lot of you guys have decided that you know, if this connection goes anywhere in the future, um, it's going to be because uh, they initiate. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you guys have gotten tired of putting in all the work. And now you're like, all right, um, they're going to have to step up if they, you know, if they want me, they're going to have to act like it. You know what I mean? Um, so, let's see. And with the Nine of Swords, I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys in the past, or maybe even still, have had anxiety about, you know, what's going to happen here. Um, 
because I feel like a lot of you guys are really invested in this connection. Um, it could be, you know, uh, it could be something very spiritual, like very, uh, like kind of soulmate ish, um, something like that. You just feel strongly tied to this person. And so, you know, you really are invested in them. And because things aren't working out the way that you hoped they would, or the way you want them to, you've kind of been stressed about it. Um, this card is also telling me that it's possible that they are stressed about it too, but I think in a different way. I think um, your person possibly is um, worried because they want, I feel like they want this too, but they are they feel like they're not really in a place where they can give you what they what you want or what you need um or they just feel like they can't open up they can't they can't be available like you need them to be okay um and it's like they want to do that like they want to put work into this but they're afraid to or they feel like they can't um, because there's something that's been going on with them that, um, has just been kind of, I feel like they've just been going through some, like, heavy stuff, and they're, they're working through that very slowly, but surely, okay, because we have the Wheel of Fortune here, so this card is about movement, and, you know, the wheel doesn't always turn quickly, sometimes it turns very slowly, sometimes it turns so slowly that you don't even notice that it's turning, um, and like kind of like this card it also tells me that um this situation could be divinely guided in some way okay um however i i mean i see there being a positive outcome here because we've got six of wands and this card is about like victory it's about overcoming you know it's about rising above uh overcoming all obstacles and having success um, and we also have the flirt card, which is like a very lighthearted, fun energy, very happy energy, um, plus new love. So this card tells me that, um, actually I'm getting, I'm getting two things from this card. Um, so take it however it resonates. I think for most of you, this is, um, talking about like you and this person are going to be able to eventually um kind of have a new start together um that's for most of you guys but also for some of you for a, a small handful of you i feel like um because you've been uh frustrated with this person and you've kind of stepped back and decided like you know if if anything happens it's going to be because they reach out to me like i'm done putting all this effort in if they're not going to reciprocate I feel like some of you guys have actually gotten involved with somebody else in the meantime, like, you know, somebody that, uh, you feel actually wanted by, okay? Um, but, like, it's not that this person doesn't want you, like, they do. If they didn't care, like, they wouldn't have this energy of worry and stress, you know, they wouldn't be worried about it. Um, they just are kind of fucked up and they're trying to work through that um so yeah uh some of you i think have started to see other people or talk to other people um and let's see i want to pull maybe one or two more of these cards We have Imagine and we have Observer. So the Imagine card talks to me about manifestation as well. Um, so like I was saying, I think some of you guys definitely have been trying to manifest, you know, um, progress with this person, but it's just, you know, you're just not seeing the results, right? And that's very frustrating. Um, because some of you guys, like, I definitely feel like, you know, you've been trying to work, you've been, you've been trying to do this for a long time now, like it's months, you know? Um, and it's just not, you're just not seeing progress because I think, I think the progress is just happening so slowly that it's kind of imperceptible. 
you know, to our eyes, right? Um, and then with the Observer card, I think this card is saying that um, if you are some, if you have stepped back from this situation, I think this is saying that that's, that was the right thing to do. Okay, um, detachment is very important when you are trying to manifest something. Um, because I like I've said this before, but when you get too hung up on what you want your outcome to be, like that blocks your energy and it blocks the thing you want from actually happening. Um, and it seems kind of uh, counterproductive or so whatever, but like that's tr that's true. You know, um, once you stop wanting something, like actively wanting it that's when it comes to you. Like, that's just, you know, it's, it's bullshit, but like, that's the way it works, doesn't, <laughs> isn't it? Um, so, you know, I, I think it's, it was a smart move to, you know, step away and, um, keep, you know, keep looking at this situation from a neutral perspective, because like, that is, that's helpful. Right. That's um, I think I think your person that you're asking about can kind of feel the detachment that's happened. And it it's like, you know, they they're still thinking about you just like you're still thinking about them because there is this connection there that's, you know, that that goes very deep, I feel. Um, so, you know, you're still connected to each other in in the like spiritual sense in the energetic sense um but i feel like because you're not you know actively um putting your energy into it into the connection like consciously doing that um i feel like it, it's kind of taken some of the pressure off of your person if that makes sense and so now they feel they feel I want to say they feel like they have more time. Before they felt kind of rushed because they felt your energy, like they felt your, um, they felt how badly you wanted it. And it was a little bit frightening to them. And now that you've eased up, they feel more confident in, you know, their ability to do whatever it is that they're doing work through whatever they're working through cuz i feel like there's something going on in the in your person's life that um has prevented them from, you know, um acting like a normal fucking person. <laughs> you know, it, there there is something that has that has been holding them back from you, right? Um and i feel like ho whatever it is, it has held them back from many things. You know, like this I was saying some of you guys, I think, have been seeing and talking to other people. I don't think they've been doing that. I, I think they've been... I don't think they've been thinking about relationships at all. Um, aside from you, like, I don't think they're interested. Um, and even though they are interested in you, like, they're not... They know they're not at a place where they can actually commit or anything like that. You know what I mean? Okay, so, um, yeah, group one, that's your reading. Um, I hope it resonated with you. Let me know your thoughts. I love to read you guys' comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time, group two. We're going to move on now to group number three. Group number three, what am I talking about? No, we're doing group number two. We just finished group one. We're doing group number two. Oh my god. It's too early in the morning. I, I, even though I've been awake for like three hours, I I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> my bad guys. Group two. Come to the edge. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's see. Group two, what's up? Where's your connection going? Whoa. Your hard work is paying off. Um, let's grab some of these. Soulmate. Whoa. Um, 
attraction. We have trust and we have stay optimistic. Okay. And let's get one more. Forgiving and learning. Okay. Um, all right. So there is this sense of somebody is preparing to do something kind of big. Okay. Um, three of swords. Nine of Wands, yeah. Somebody's really been fighting hard. And, um, it's been an, an internal battle, I think. Page of Cups. Oh, cool. And the Sun! Wow! And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Swords. Okay, so, um, yeah, I feel like, okay, whoever this person is that you're asking about definitely feels like it's a soulmate. I mean, we have the soulmate card, we have attraction. This card talks about, you know, um, like a, uh, when this card comes out, I see it as kind of like a, indicating like a something magnetic, you know, something that is, um, it, it's not rational, you know, you can't, um, you can't fully understand it, it just is, right? Um, because we don't, we don't fully know why we're attracted to people yet, right? Um, so, yeah, something, um, with the trust card, it's kind of like, I feel like you guys have probably been kind of losing faith in this relationship, in this connection, um, but you've been trying to stay optimistic and trying to, you know, continue to trust that whatever happens is, it's meant to happen that way, you know what I mean, um, right, because nothing really happens for no reason, you know, and this is somebody that you guys have, I think, you know, had some issues with in the past, obviously. Um, forgiving and learning, there is something that, um, there's something about this connection that's going to have to be fixed. And I think that there is a, um, Somebody here, I think it's probably the person you're thinking about, has really been working very hard to um, to get to a better place. I feel like whoever this is, they've been very afraid of the connection that you have with them. Okay, we've got come to the edge. This card talks about fear. Like, it, it talks about, you know, being brave and overcoming your fears and just kind of, you know, taking a leap of faith and... Um, trusting that the, you know, you're not going to fall, right? Um, so I think that this person in the past has been very afraid of being vulnerable, of opening up, right? Because we have the Three of Swords, so this card's about betrayal, so I feel like this person's been hurt really badly in the past, and so that made them seem kind of cold and uninterested to you, right? Um, but I think that they, so, somehow they realized that um, you are somebody that they want to be with, they want to be around, but they want to have in their life. And so they had to make some changes. Like they had to um, learn how not to be afraid, right? Nine of Wands, this is about, um, this is about, like, pushing through, um, to the end, right? Pushing through to the finish line, even though you're exhausted and you're thinking about giving up, okay? Um, and with the Page of Cups, this card is telling me that, like, their finish line, their idea of what the finish line is, is, you know, coming towards you 
and telling you like how they actually feel right because we also have the page of swords and this card is about honesty it's about you know um not being super caught up in your feelings not letting not letting um i'm seeing this as not letting your fear um control you not letting your emotions uh control you or hold you back but like they do want to tell you how they feel about you you know they want to be honest about that all right guys um and and with the sun card here this is like i say this every time but this is the this is the most positive card in the deck anytime this card comes out it tells me that there is a lot of love in this situation. There is a very strong connection that this is like, this is like a one of a kind thing, you know? So I think that whoever you're asking about has been going through some stuff and they've been working really hard to get over this fear that they have pertaining to this connection so that they can come towards you and make the most of it. This is interesting because this, this is actually going along pretty well with reading number one. Um, and I feel like, you know, both of these readings could apply to the same situation. So, you know, um, that's really interesting. Um, let me pull out maybe one more of these cards. Just see what they have to say. Okay, we've got Deep Knowing and Yang. Okay, so um, let's see. So I know the Yang card is about like Divine Masculine, right? And it's about action. But with it being reversed, this card is kind of like, it's kind of like inaction. It's, it's like, you know, taking your time to decide how you want to move forward and, you know, not doing anything too quickly. And I feel like you guys already know that this person has not done anything quickly since you've known them. Um... <laughs> It's just kind of like, it's about patience. You know, it's, it's like <sighs> making sure you've thought through every possible outcome, every avenue, of every course of action, you know, before you settle on what you're going to do. Um, and it's like making sure you really know what you want, right? So that you don't end up in a situation where, you know, you um, are going to regret anything. So this card is telling me that this person has, um, has really been taking their time with coming towards you. Because they don't want to screw it up. Okay? They, when they come towards you, they want to come towards you right. And they, as of yet, they felt like they're not right yet. Um, and so that's why you have, you've, you know, that's why they've been at a distance from you. I feel like a lot of you guys probably aren't even in communication with this person right now. Um, so yeah, but this is also saying like, have patience. Okay. Um, you've already been patient. I know that. Um, but you know, it's like, but, like, with the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, you know, those cards, they are messengers and, you know, they are, they take action. It's not, like, super fast, big action, but it's action still. So, you know, I feel like this is something that is, um, I feel like this is a situation where the energy is moving, you know? It's gaining some momentum. It's just that you're not able to see it yet. So, um, with the deep knowing card, this is about, uh, intuition. It's about empathy. It's about, um, sensitivity. Um, it's kind of like, you know, I feel like this is another confirmation that this is a person who's been placed in your life for a reason. 
And if you've been concerned that, you know, because they've been distant that, you know, it's over between you and this person and, you know, things are never going to get better, like this is saying that's not something you need to worry about, okay? You have to trust. You have to have faith in this situation. You have to have some faith in this person and in the universe's, you know, um, greater uh, plans, right? Because I, I think that your fears, your fears pertaining to this situation are kind of ungrounded, un unfounded, I should say. <laughs> um, I just get the sense that, like, you have nothing to worry about here. Because this person was put on your path for a reason, and your business with them is not finished yet. Okay. Um... And, like, I think a lot of you guys, when you met this person, you kind of just knew that they were going to be important in your life. You know what I mean? Um, so, that's a sign. That's another sign that it's true. You know, this, this, is, this is a very meaningful connection that you have. And it's not done and over with, no matter how hopeless this situation might seem right now. Um... It's just something that you've got to you've got to give it a little more time to uh, unfold, right? I think this person still needs a little bit more time, um, but I feel like eventually it's really going to come together very beautifully, um, just like with Group One. So, guys, that's your reading. And I know I, I've, I've said this for both of these readings, but, like, I'm, I'm seeing these situations coming together. I'm seeing you and the person you're asking about coming together. But, like, you've got to understand that, you know, timing is subjective. It's, like, our time is different from the universe's time, you know? Um just because I'm seeing these these energies like progressing, that doesn't mean you're gonna see results in the next few months. You know, it could still be a while because like these things do take time to 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 come together, right? It's all you know. It's it's all it's all part of the plan, and you can't rush these things. They cannot be rushed. Okay, so, um, yeah, group two, that's your reading. I hope this resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Leave me some comments. Um, as long as they're not, like, stupid or ignorant or rude, I love to read them. Okay, so, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!